After I released my pick rate video, I started to think about how different legends could be buffed or nerfed, and so I figured I'd start like a little mini series talking about my personal opinions on them as well as what people who main the characters themselves has said. So in this first episode, I want to talk about two legends who I feel really need to get a buff, and that is Mirage and Lifeline. And I think it's pretty obvious why the two of them need buffs. Lifeline has pretty much had her entire kit stolen by Jabra. Brawlter, and Mirage is at the absolute bottom level of that pick rate. So I wanted to go into my own ideas as well as the community's ideas on how we can pull these characters out of the kind of rut that they're in right now and get them back to being top tier players. Not that Mirage ever really was a top tier legend, but with the kit changes that I'm going to be talking about today, I think that he definitely could become something a lot better than what he is right now. Anybody who mains Mirage would be very happy with what I'm going to talk about, as well as those who main lifeline but let's get right in and first up let's talk about mirage now i'm going to kind of define why the characters need buffs and so i've talked about this a couple times in stream but for those of you who haven't been able to make it there the reason that mirage is so weak is that he's an independent character and what i mean by that is that every other legend has something to benefit to the team like Watson, she can protect the team with her fences, and she can also heal their shields. Gibraltar obviously has his bubble, which allows him to res faster, and teammates can heal faster in it. And even Octane, who you might not think has a team-based ability, has his jump pad, and although it's pretty useless, in most cases it is something that adds depth to the team whereas mirage doesn't have anything like that he has his passive which we're going to talk about later because that's not even a real passive and it's that he goes invisible after he's downed then he has his q ability where he throws out a decoy of himself which is completely solo based other than the fact that his teammates are alerted to the location of whoever shoots it he also has his decoy escape which allows him to get out of sticky situations and flank enemies while invisible and i think his ultimate is actually okay i'm going to talk about how i would change it a little bit first let's talk about how i would change his q ability i think an incredibly simple yet super powerful buff would be to change his ultimate so that it randomly throws out a decoy of somebody who's on his team so say if the team is watson caustic and mirage if he hits the q button he sends out a caustic or the next time maybe he hits the q button he sends out a watson and then the other time he throws out himself just kind of on a random cycle that way teams would always have to shoot it because they wouldn't know if it were actually him or not i think this would be an incredibly powerful buff because it would be an almost 100 percent bamboozle rate for him because teams couldn't take the risk of not knowing if it was fake or not now for his passive i'm actually taking this idea from a reddit user named Piter underscore neo underscore pl off the apex legends subreddit and their idea is that whenever you're using meds or you're shielding or reviving a friend or using a survey beacon or something like that a decoy is standing next to you a couple meters away doing the exact same thing so that there's that 50 percent chance that if somebody shoots at you while it's happening they'll be shooting your decoy instead of you something that would allow mirage to still be helping his team while he's using meds since it would be alerting them of the presence of the people who are attacking him and the two buffs that i just talked about i don't think would be game breaking in any way they're not going to make mirage the number one picked legend they just would be making him so much more effective at what his job is supposed to be and that is bamboozling people for pete's sake let the man just bamboozle his kit right now is so pathetically weak that you gotta be like a god tier player to even get consistent bamboozles with him for his ultimate i think going invisible is actually a pretty good ultimate ability however i would say that in order for it to be slightly better i think the decoys should all scatter just like they did in dummies day off or maybe even if they did like their little dance i think that would be hilarious i think that would be so fitting for mirage as this kind of like awkward goofy character let me know what you guys think down below though do you think that these ideas that i just listed would be a good buff for mirage and if so let me know if you would make any additional changes and if not let me know why either if you think it's too weak or too powerful but now let's talk about lifeline 
and I got a lot of heat for talking so aggressively about her in my pick rate video, saying that she's discount Gibby and all that. And even though I take back a little bit of it, I really do stand by that because I think that a lot of her kit is currently being done better by Gibraltar. And I'm going to go through exactly what it is. So when he has his dome shield up and it's only a 30 second cooldown for his dome shield, he reses as fast as lifeline and the entire team can heal faster inside the dome shield, which if you really think about it is the same thing that lifeline does just better. She can heal faster than usual and everybody on the team can heal as fast as she does if they're inside Gibraltar's bubble. When she picks people up, she has the shield that goes in front of her. If Gibraltar is resing inside his dome, he has a 360 degree shield around him and he reses as fast as her. And even though she has the drone, which heals people up, Gibraltar still gives that additional buff to the teammates so that they can get back into the fight faster. And he has an ultimate ability, which is incredibly powerful. Now, I know that some people were saying that Lifeline can drop her package and use it for cover if she's in an open field or something. And I say checkmate because it takes her a minute and a half to two minutes to get that ultimate up, whereas Gibby gets his dome shield every 30 seconds, which is far better immediate cover, albeit not permanent cover, but still immediate cover. Now, in order to change lifeline to be a little bit better, her healing can stay. I think that's a really great aspect of her character and something that makes her unique, the faster healing. But I think her dock healing drone should be a little bit faster. If your team is really low on HP, it does not fill everybody up, which I think is kind of dumb. So I think it should give out. In addition to that, one lifeline shield really, really needs to not go through solid objects. So like if you're inside a building and you're rezzing, everybody outside the building knows that you're rezzing because her shield comes through the wall, which is terrible. And in addition to that, I think the shield should be a little bit bigger. Wherever you're rezzing, it should be touching the ground. That way people cannot shoot under it. They need to add some kind of collision detection. I think that would be a great buff for her. And even if they made it a little bit wider, so it wrapped around her a little bit more, I think that would be good. But the main thing that I wanna talk about is a change to her ultimate ability that I would make instead of the care package. And hear me out because you lifeline mains are gonna be a little bit offended by this at first, but hear me out. I think that instead of getting that loot package, she should be able to use her ultimate ability to restore 50% of health back to everybody on the team. So if you're at 50 health when she uses it, you should be back up to 75, something like that. I, th I think that during a fight, she should really have that ultimate as a powerful tool to either help herself or her teammate that would bring a lot of utility to her and it would make her make her a huge contender for one of the top legends which i'm totally okay with i'm all for having really good healers in games because that's a great skill that it's very difficult to hone if you know what i mean having a healer who knows when to heal and when to hold off healing is something that's very difficult to learn and has a very high skill cap so i think that giving that ability to lifeline would be really really cool alternatively and this is kind of far out there but hear me out i think that it would be interesting if her ultimate was that she restored maximum health to everyone on her team but it was temporary health so if they were at 25 hp it would go back up to 100 but it would drain back down maybe over the course of 20 seconds, and they would get a little bit of a speed boost during that. And I think this would make her a phenomenal legend to pick, a super good team player, because she could really help out the team when they needed to do a strong push and just bulldoze the squad, you know, if they're out by the circle or if it's last squad and they're trying to clean up, something like that. I think it would really benefit her to have a little bit more of a team aggressiveness mentality I know that she's very good on 1v1s because she can heal more quickly, but it would be really nice if the rest of the team got a benefit during battle as well. So those are my thoughts on Mirage and Lifeline. I'm really, really interested to see what you guys think about these in the comments below. So please let me know whether you're for these or against these, how you would change them and what you think is good about them. But I'll be back again with you guys tomorrow as always. I'm going to be opening some Apex packs on stream if you would like to come and join me. And then we're going to play some Apex for a little bit and then maybe Maybe even get into some Dark Souls depending on how the day goes. So swing by and say hi to me. I love talking to you guys. But this video has gone on for quite a bit now. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And until next time, take it easy.